Okay, in uh, this video we are going to discuss the lower teeth. Uh, in principle they are the same, uh, but there is a special thing about the lower teeth is the presence of the floor of the mouth. In some patients, uh, it is uh, not easy to extend the uh, sensor uh, all the way down to capture the, MX, uh, the uh, apex of the tooth. Why? Because some patients by reflex, when the film is inserted um, against the uh, floor of the mouth, they will tend to uh, 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 the muscle will be tense. Uh, the more you push the uh, sensor downwards, the 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 more the t the, the the harder the uh, the image uh, the muscle will be, uh, uh, and it is uh, actually sometimes. Uh, you will end up with a gagging or initiating of the gagging reflex. So what you do here is that you are going to distract the at, uh, attention of the patient from this area, which is the where the sensor is touching and a reflex tensioning of the muscle occurs. You will use your fingers and direct it exactly on the opposite side where the sensor is present. So what what you do uh, what you're going to do actually is you're going to shift the attention of the patient from this area uh, 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 and the subsequent contraction. You the, uh, the 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 attention of the patient will be directed to this area. You just ask the patient. You place the uh, your fingers exactly on the opposite area where the uh, end of the sensor is present, and you ask the patient to please just relax this area. The patient will uh, direct all his senses to your fingers and then the muscle will be relaxed and this will help uh, pu uh, pushing the uh, film or the sensor all the way down to the <coughs> to capture the apex the uh, the apex sorry okay now uh, because this there is no flexibility in this area with this particular mannequin we will assume that the sensor is going all the way down to the uh, to the apex, okay? Because the, you know this is uh, a hard plastic, so I cannot push the sensor all the way down. But we will assume that I we will get the idea relationship is that only two millimeters of the uh, of the uh, uh, two millimeters are uh, are extending uh, from the uh, 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 superior border of the um, uh, sensor. Uh, with the occlusal surface. If I replace this with a normal film, I think this is smaller. Uh, yeah, almost. Uh, it should go down. Actually, to actually, two millimeters should be extending only uh, from the uh, margin so that you will capture the, uh, uh, the, the image. Okay. When it comes to uh, <coughs> uh, uh, taking a radiograph with the clamp present, uh, again, we will have the same problem is that the uh, placement, I suppose you're working on the lower uh, molar, lower first molar here, okay? So what you will do is that you will just reflect uh, the uh, rubber dam and then you're going to insert the uh, uh, sensor, uh, making sure that two millimeters are extending from the from the uh, uh, from the margin. This will ensure that the uh, apex will be showing. Uh, actually, in the lower molars, you don't have, you shouldn't have any problem. Why? Because the film or the sensor and the teeth are almost parallel. So uh, you, you don't have any angle. You just direct your beam so that it will be uh, perpendicular on both the tooth and the sensor. Maybe you need to just give it a plus five or even less, so that you will capture the image, provided that the you ensure that the two millimeters are extending all the way down. If the patient cannot uh, uh, hold the sensor here, again we will use the again we will use the cutter roll and we will put it in, in, in place over here, and then you ask the patient to support it. Uh, on the utilize it, util make sure that you don't uh, uh, you avoid the uh, re uh, rima which is extending, and you ask your patient to 
just place his finger on the cutter roll. This will also help in stabilizing the uh, uh, sensor in place. So you can see that the cutter roll, you can use it in every sector or in every tooth uh, uh, to uh, avoid slippage and to help in stabilizing and increasing the support of the sensor. So this is a good idea. Instead of placing this, uh, 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 you just place the cutter roll on the clamp and then you ask your patient to place his finger on the uh, on the um, uh, cutter roll so that it will aid pu in pushing down the uh, sensor uh, all the way down to the apex. <clears throat> now we will come to the uh, radiography of premolars. Uh, premolars actually, uh, again, they have the same uh, rules, uh, uh, or the same rules will, will apply on the premolars. However, there is a small uh, um, uh, unique thing about the premolars is that the start of the curvature of the mandible will start, and then it will be a little bit difficult to place the uh, uh, sensor with the, with the curvature. In the premolars, what you are going to do is uh, actually it's, it's the same from the, for the molars. However, the start of the curvature of the uh, jaw uh, of the mandible will start in this area. So you have to compensate instead of being uh, just uh, what we did in the molars, you need to follow the arch. Because this is thick and does not allow, uh, it's, there is no flexibility, so you, you should keep a distance as, as such. Uh, because uh, you cannot bend the uh, the sensor, so you use this relationship. I'll just place the uh, uh, clamp over here so that we will see how we would take a radiograph for the lower premolars. Of course, the principle of the uh, uh, of the uh, two milli two millimeters of the uh, uh, upper margin of the sensor still apply here because you need to have uh, not more than two millimeters of the uh, of the um, uh, uh, of the sensor should be located above the uh, uh, like in this case definitely you will not catch up the uh, apex as, as I told you uh, the uh, because this is not flexible. Uh, unlike the patient's mouth, so we cannot push it down. Otherwise, you can push it all the way down. It goes even less than two millimeters. I mean, it goes be below, uh, so you will not catch up the crown if the patient is cooperative and does not <coughs> or will not make this muscle tense. Okay, so because as we said, this is not flexible and you cannot follow the arch, so you will assume an angle like this one. See, in the molars we were we were following exactly the uh, the the arch. In the premolars, you can take this, uh, you can assume this relationship, okay. And then you ask your patient to support the uh, sensor, or you can use this method as well. Instead of placing his finger here, you can place the cutter roll and you ask your patient to support the film. This will, as we said, aid in uh, helping the patient pushing the, uh, the sensor down, okay? And it will help also in stabilizing the uh, radiograph. Now, when it comes to the, uh, to, uh, sorry, when it stabilizes the um, uh, sensor. When it comes to the X-ray beam, the X-ray beam, as you can see here, this is the tooth and this is the sensor. So you can compensate by giving, uh, this is perpendicular on the tooth, perpendicular on the film. So you can give a minus uh, uh, 15 or minus 10 would be more than enough. Okay, you don't need to take this position. However, it is possible, it is possible, but I would go for, for this, this position, no, no angulation, okay? And then I will uh, place the cutter roll to support. Now, if, there is, if you need to tilt, then this is the, the, the relationship that you should follow. Of course, in, in this case, you have to increase your vertical angulation because the angle has increased here. So this is perpendicular on the tooth, 
perpendicular on the sensor and this is the, uh, the, 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 the perpendicular on the bisector. But if you place it in this direction, okay, keep it away, this way, you keep it away and you will ask your patient to place the, uh, 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 or you will, you will place the uh, uh, cutter roll uh, then you will ask, uh, you will aid in uh, uh, supporting, and you will get a better image. Even why? Because uh, the sensor and the uh, and the film are uh, almost parallel. See, the more the more uh, parallel the sensor to the film, the better is the image quality. Okay, the idea relationship is that the X-ray should be per per falling perpendicular on the object, the tooth in this instance, and the film. Uh, uh, angulations will uh, 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 influence uh, the uh, the image uh, d dimensions, whether they were uh, elongated or shortened. So the more you get a parallel sensor and the film the better will be the image and this is the best case to to achieve it okay